everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the thermal stitch. This is episode 25 of our stitch gallery and glossary, and the thermal stitch is quite simple actually. It's just a variation of a single crochet. But the appeal of the thermal stitch is that it is thick. It is quite thick, meaning we are working single crochets on the front and on the back of each other so that it makes this thickness so squishy and plushy and it is very stretchy and it's nice to wear make with um, you know wearables uh, like a cardigan in this or even a nice thick blanket in this I mean there's so many ways you can use this stitch it's so wonderful so a huge thank you to Lion Brand Yarn for providing this yarn today I'm using basic stitch this is a size 4 medium worsted weight yarn and I'll be using an eye crochet hook this fancy crochet hook is from the Etsy shop would be fancy uh, it's hand carved and it is fitting in the palm of my hand so perfectly so I can crochet for a really long period of time because the thermal stitch does take a lot of time <laughs> because it is single crochet and you're working layers uh, two layers at the same time it does take a, a lot of time to make but it looks so fabulous in the end so I'll put the link to these um, supplies if you want to get them online you can otherwise you can use any size uh, yarn any size crochet hook and make the thermal stitch I'm just doing a swatch today but you can do these in projects I'll show you how to start it how to do the middle and then how to finish. I didn't fasten this off but you can fasten off your project at the end like you normally do. So this is just a swatch today so I hope you learn something fun with this um, stitch and make something and if you do make sure to share it on social media and hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see it especially on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and uh, again thank you to Lion Brand Yarns. Thanks to my dad behind my shoulder here he is filming this entire tutorial editing it and putting it up on YouTube for everyone to watch for free, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. All right, everyone, let's get started and learn how to make the thermal stitch. All right, to start off, you want to start with any amount of chain for your specific project. I just chained 21 here to show you in the uh, little swatch that I'm making. Um, but what we want to do is single crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across for row one. And what um, will be best for you in this tutorial, or in this project actually, for the thermal stitch, work in these back ridges of your foundation chain because we'll be working into these loops here for the first or for the next row for the second row and that will make, make sense later but I'm going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook so the loop on the hook doesn't count so this is one chain here oh, I can't really see it very well there we go one chain there second chain right here so we're going to go into that chain and just make a simple single crochet I think that was actually episode one of our stitch gallery and glossary <laughs> Just doing a simple single crochet into each chain across, okay? And we're gonna just do that all the way across each, in each chain, just put a simple single crochet. But as you can see, I'm working in that back ridge and you can see these loops are still free and we are going to work in those for row two. And I'll show you what I mean when I get there. So let me just single crochet across this chain and then we'll go on to row two making this thermal stitch. All right, just making my last single crochet on this row. Perfect, so this just looks like a simple single crochet row, right? So what we're going to do now is make the thermal stitch and what we're going to do is chain one and instead of turning our work around like this, like we usually do, we're not gonna turn our work. We're going to reverse and work backwards, basically. And the way I like to do it is turning my work sideways. And you're going to be working into this loop here and this loop here. And we're gonna work sideways, okay? I hope that makes sense. You can watch what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go back into, so just use your hook, manipulate your yarn however you need to to make it comfortable for you. But we're, we chained one there and now we're going to go back into between the front and back loop of this last stitch here that we just created. We're going to go in between there. 
so to the front like this, and then down to our foundation chain in the front loop there. Okay, then we're going to bring this working yarn and yarn over and pull through both of those. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet. So yarn over, pull through two. So you can kind of see that our work did turn a little bit, but um, you can really do this however you need to to make it comfortable for you. So again, this next stitch right here and right here. Go down in between these two like this, and then down below in the previous row, or in the foundation chain in this case, right here, go into there and I know the first time you try this is going to be very difficult but just bear with me yarn over your yarn and pull through both of those loops from those stitches okay so now you have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both of those loops like a single crochet okay and you are working this and making it double thick okay so again next stitch is right here okay so we're going to go into the top there and then the very bottom one lining up right in there okay then yarn over with your yarn pull it up through so now we have two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through both of those okay I'll go much slower next stitch here's the next stitch right here okay down below it right here Okay, yarn over and pull it through there, just like that, and then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and you can see I'm turning my work as I go. So you can see that this is the back then, this is the front, we're making these ones right here. Okay, so again, and this is just row two, so once you get past <laughs> row two, you definitely will be more on a roll. Here's the next stitch here. Go straight directly down into the next stitch or the bottom stitch there. And you'll always be doing this for the whole project then. Just yarn over, pull through those stitches, and then yarn over and pull through two. Okay. Next, like this. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you're kind of turning your work, I guess, in a sense. You're turning it sideways to go down into the stitch, right here and right here, then kind of yarning over, pulling up, and then to finish my single crochet, I do turn it to the back and then pull it, th finishing my single crochet there. Okay, then turn back to the side, go to the next stitch, top and bottom, okay, then yarning over and like that okay and this is the start of the thermal stitch and you'll start to feel your piece getting thicker as you go it's thicker and like squishier and it still has some stretch to it so I really like this stitch a lot once I finish this row I'll show you how to go on to row three and then row three is basically a repeat for the rest of the what rest of the way so I'll finish this row I just have a few more stitches and I'll be right back all right I just finished my last stitch here okay just like this now what you want to do for the rest of the way you can see without twisting your work here like mine you can see this is what it looks like and now on the back here well let's flip to the front here you won't be able to see two lines anymore on this side because we're not going to be working on this side we are going to be working on this side now and this really juts out pretty far so you won't be able to miss these stitches here and we'll just be working now in these top loops and these bottom loops okay just putting those together and the thickness will show so let me grab this and I'll show you every time you finish a row make sure to chain one and just work how we did row two so go back into this stitch here and this loop right directly beneath it then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two some people have an easier way of doing it holding it to the back like this and then turning their work so they can see the stitches like this okay 
and just kind of working in the back loops of their work. Okay, so you don't have to turn or manipulate really that much. You just go in, through, okay, just like that. So again, directly into both of those loops. And on this side, we are creating this front loop is free so that we'll be able to work in those loops in the next row when you turn your work. Okay, so going into this back loop of this stitch, okay, and directly beneath it is this stitch. Okay, you see that? And then yarn over and pull it through, and then yarn over and pull through too. And once you have more fabric made, basically like make more length made on your piece, it will be a lot easier to hold your piece, hold your work in your less dominant hand and your hook is in your dominant hand, just like this. Okay, and now I'm going a little faster, as you can tell, it gets easier as you go. And you can just see they're lined up right there. So this back loop and this loop here. And they're just lined up. So it's almost mindless. But um, if you have trouble with knowing the end or the beginning of your uh, row for those stitches, just make sure you count every row then to make sure that you are not skipping stitches or missing any stitches. And I'm coming up to the end here. So you can see how I do the last stitch, okay? So it looks kinda hidden here. So in here, and here, okay? And then finish your single crochet, and now you can go on to the next row, row four, chain one, and instead of turning it this way, just go backwards. So go into this first stitch here, and directly below it in that stitch, okay? Don't go through this loop here, there's a loop below that, don't go in that one. Just this one and this one. And make your single crochet. Okay, this one and this one. Okay. Just like that. That is the thermal stitch. It is so simple. It's just where you need to put your hook, you know? But it's a single crochet, just Double the thickness, which is great for bottoms of bags. Uh, it's great for blankets, washcloths. There's double the thickness, so even a hot pad to put your hot plates on. You can do it in cotton yarn. And it is thick, squishy, and stretchy. So I'm going to do a few more rows of this, and I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I'm finished. Alright, this is what my work looks like. I did um, 8 rows on each side, so I have 16 rows. It doesn't look like a whole lot because it's, it's doubled, it's the thickness um, of it. So I have 8 rows on this side and 8 rows on this side. But like I said, you can make as many rows as you want, but just know that whatever, how many rows you do, it's double because you're doing this side and this side. And this is what it looks like. So to finish off your project, you don't want to end with it looking like this. You want it to look nice and clean like the opposite side. So to do that, we are going to chain one, and at this time you can turn your work around. And we are going to work in the entire stitch here, this entire uh, single crochet, plus that loop down there, okay, from the previous row, okay? So what we're going to do, let me get my yarn figured out here first. Make sure your working yarn is in the back of your work, okay? So we're going to go into the actual stitch here, and in that uh, stitch from the previous row that we've been working in like this, and then yarn over, pull through everything, and then yarn over and pull through the both loops on your hook. Okay, so again, go into the next stitch itself, just like this, and then below there, equal, is that loop there from the previous row, and we are going to single crochet. 
And you're just going to single crochet all the way across, working in the entire stitch here and that loop right there from the previous row. Okay, and just do that all the way across. And I'm going to go a little faster here, but you can take your time just going in, making sure you're getting into every loop. Okay. Oh, see, I missed a loop. There's one right there. Okay, so in the stitch and then in the loop below it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two to make your single crochet. And as you can see, it's clean here and it's clean on this side, and that's the edge of your work. It looks so fabulous. So that is the thermal stitch, start, fin middle, and ending. Of I'm just made a little swatch here, but you can, like I said, make this in so many pieces. I used this stitch in uh, the mystery crochet along that I did with Nikki from Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Uh, we used this stitch in the base of our bag that we did for the mystery crochet along. Um, the base of the bag had the thermal stitch, which is nice for bases of bags because this is so thick that it can ho withhold a lot of weight inside of a bag. So um, I like to use this for bases of a bag or you can use it for a nice thick fluffy blanket this would take a while to make but it is worth it in the end because of the thickness and how really how nice it'll feel so there it is the thermal stitch how beautiful on both sides it's dual sided um, you could do this for a scarf a washcloth it has these little ridges inside which would be nice for washcloths and it's really nice and stretchy see how stretchy that is and the thickness is the appeal really so there it is and then it, when you're done you just fasten off tie a knot and sew in your ends thank you so much for watching and learning how to make the thermal stitch with me today I hope that you learned this and are able to make it if you are if you do make this please share your projects with me on what you made with the thermal stitch and hashtag yarn utopia in your pictures on uh, Instagram so I can see your thermal stitch pieces all right everyone have a great rest of your day until next time happy hooking